Hello people, it's Mosinix here, and today we are going to be playing Democracy 3. It's the first episode of the Let's Play Democracy 3 series. So, I have played a little bit of the game, uh, just to get a good feel of the game before I started recording. Just so I, I don't like, officially know what I'm doing, but I know how to get started, I guess. Or I know how to keep a surplus going, I guess. Um, I played as US before, but I already live in the US, so the US was pretty boring. I want to try something new. Uh, UK? I, I think I'm going to go with UK, I don't know. UK is just, I don't know, I like the UK, uh, I'm not going to mess with anything, actually this is pretty realistic, the, the president of the UK, or in the UK it's the prime minister, doesn't have a limit to how many terms the prime minister can have, and it is four years of length, I'm not going to mess with any of the options. On the US, I had the difficulty as a 50% here. But I'm not going to do 50%, I'm just going to do 100%. There actually is no hurricanes or earthquakes in the UK. Not any that I've heard of, anyway. Uh, monarchy, that's also true. The UK is a monarchy. Let's go ahead and create our game here. Okay, um, so England, this England game, you know, not everything is precise realistic. The game still has to be fun, you know, so if you even call this a game, this is the interface. See if you can hope, if you hover over a uh, bubble, this is organized crime. See, narcotics goes badly and I don't know I don't know what black means but red means it's bringing it down and green means it's bringing it up so intelligence services are sending red arrows to that so you see if we max out our uh, intelligence services organized crime will go down crime will go down liberals would hate us even more than they already do and then Patriots would kind of like it, so I'll just do it anyways. Um, let's see here, what else can we do? Uh, creationism versus evolution. I don't have enough uh, political capital. That's kind of like the currency of the game. Then you also have your uh, your currencies. Um, your, other, your realistic currencies. It's also realistic with the different currencies as I'm playing... Uh, the UK I'm playing with the the pound sterlings instead of dollars as you would uh, if, if you would play the US then you would be using dollars instead of pounds uh, like if there was Greece on this then you would be using uh, euros so it's it's pretty realistic um, I don't know what the Australian currency is but it has Australia so, uh, science funding, if we would max this out, and technology backwater would go way down, GDP would fly high and, uh, everything, but that's really expensive. That'd be, uh, another 13 billion pounds per quarter. So, and we don't have that kind of money to spend. Uh, taxes, taxes. Let's see what our taxes are. Uh, Forty-one percent on our income tax. That is terrible. I feel really bad for the citizens. Uh, a twenty-three percent sales tax. Okay. Jesus. I wish I could reduce that. Uh, capitalists. They do not like me very much. Uh, strongly oppose. That sounds bad. Uh, up here, zero. It's your intelligence briefing. Who's ranting at you and who's trying to kill you? Uh, 
luckily nobody's ranting and nobody's trying to kill me. Uh, see, these are the scary guys and these are just ranters. Like equality now, if your equality is too low, then they'll start ranting. Uh, the Human Rights Society, if you don't have enough rights for your people, they'll start ranting. The Patriot Party, yeah, that's self-explanatory. Farmers Society is self-explanatory. Um, Wildlife Trust is environmentalist. I never have a problem with these guys because I always do environment first. Uh, I get the debt out of the way first, but environment I like. These are the scary guys. These are the guys that try to kill you if you make them too angry. Like Crusaders of the Lord. Uh, Battenberg Group. The Moral Crusade. Those are pretty scary guys. It's pretty bad guys. You don't want to be messing with them. Our security effectiveness is very ineffective. So I don't want to be assassinated. That's how you lose the game. Um, is... You either lose your election or you're assassinated. So let's get this. I say alcohol abuse out of the way first. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll. We already got the thing going here. Uh, crime. Uh, alcohol law. Let's raise that. So strong restrictions. Liberals will hate it. Whatever. Be mad, liberals. Uh. What else can we do? Uh, police force. Let's maximize that. There's a 22 billion pound surplus for every quarter. That's pretty good. So, the Human Rights Society are very happy with us. For sure, we got a. Yeah, they are not happy with us. Uh. I don't know why it's giving John Kerry references in a UK game. Whatever. Uh, did I do this yet? No. I don't have enough political capital. I'm too political capital off. Uh, this is the policy ideas area. Where you can enter new policies. Organized crime. That's already shooting down. Uh, asthma epidemic. That's by CO2 emissions. Which at the moment is pretty high, so we'll do some pollution controls. Uh, pollution controls obviously brings CO2 emissions down, hurts the GDP a little bit, but uh, capitalists hate me too. But environmentalists and the environment will increase. Uh, hopefully, capitalists won't try to won't start to try to kill me, because that won't be very happy. Won't be be very uh, dandy be very good uh, I think we're gonna have to increase this tax a little bit poor people 30% okay I don't have enough but a 30% sales tax oh man okay um, and a 41% income tax <laughs> Jesus all right um we already did strong restrictions on uh on the booze. Let's see here. What else can we do? Uh what's this? Uh abortion law, not gonna mess with that. Not just yet. Let's see here, what else can we do before we do uh what's this? Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna read that for the sake of uh, recording. Okay, so I forgot what I was gonna do. I was gonna do something with this 25 political capital uh, police force that's already maxed out. Uh, CCTV cameras. Let's bring that more down. Uh, hopefully, liberals don't try to kill me. Seventeen billion pound surplus. Set up the standards. Let's get this debt out of the way. That's what I want to get out of the way is the debt. Uh, I'll probably just maximize this so that you get maximum prison for for uh, for racial discrimination. <laughs> 
Jeez. Don't discriminate another race. Or else you're getting a maximum prison sentence. Let's increase our military budget by a little bit. Fake patriots not completely hate us. I mean, they're all right. They're slightly happy. Slightly happy. Patriots for, if you people don't know, uh, for the people who don't know who patriots are, basically, if you're a patriot, then you like to care about your own country and your own problems. Which I feel like America needs to do for a little bit. But, because we got enough problems already. I mean, uh, debt, I don't know if that's super realistic. I don't know the debts of the UK. But, uh, I know in America, if you start off a game on normal 100% difficulty, uh, because the max is 200%, but normal is 100%. If you do, if you start up a US game on 100% difficulty, then the debt will be like $5 trillion. But, uh, or like $3 trillion, and you'll have a little bit of a surplus. Surplus, not so realistic, but... i say if you put it on 200% difficulty, then it's the most realistic. Um, so what can I do to make money right now? Uh, taxes. Internet tax. No. Let's see here. Uh, car tax. I don't have enough political capital to do that. Let's go into the, the next quarter here. Stress epidemic. Doctors have warned that our businesses are working people too hard, which is leading to dangerously high levels for, of stress for people with full-time jobs. There are called for limits on the hours that people work to be better enforced by central government. Very small surplus. Alright. Technology backwater is staying the same. That's terrible for our GDP. Terrible, terrible, terrible. If we were to max out our science funding, which is a lot of money, and we don't have the money to do that, we're already in a 700 billion pound deficit, which is quite big, uh, you would get this technology backwater down. I mean, it won't end it, I wouldn't believe, but uh, it would definitely bring it down. Uh, I got a little trick up my sleeve, Law and Order. Where are you? Police drones. They might not like it, but I sure do. So you gotta deal with it. Alright, uh, alcohol tax. Let's max that out. Man, poor... Poor alcoholics, man. A 75% alcohol tax. That should end alcohol abuse quite quickly. Road building. Let's decrease that. The car usage goes down. CO2 emissions go down. This goes down. Everybody's happy. Except for motorists. Motorists always hate me. Like, motorists always hated me in my other game. Because I would do, like, no road building. Bus lanes would be everywhere. Let's see here. Uh, to help out... Okay, never mind. I was gonna do, uh... Oh, there we go. Hybrid Cars Initiative. To help out with... The asthma epidemic. It's a cheap way. It's a Hybrid Cars Initiative. Cleaner cars, you know, that sort of stuff. Alright, so we have zero political capital. Let's go ahead and just go into the next term. Appoint UN Ambassador uh, Regina Phillips is well known as a patriot who will fight tooth and claw to get our interests represented at the, at the UN. Uh, seen as a popular choice amongst patriotic and more conservative citizens. Uh, I'll just choose this guy, whatever. I don't really care much. It's not like it affects me. Still, nobody trying to kill us. Beautiful. I like that. Yeah, that kind of shot down because of that alcohol tax. Wow. That's how to effectively deal with a, with a, an alcohol abuse problem. 
that go tax. 75%. Wow, I don't have enough. Alright. I would have political capital. Petrol tax. Not enough political capital. I should be able to do something with this, right? Prisons. Let's max this out. Extensive rehabilitation. So, if you discriminate on races, you'll get maximum prison sentence and you'll get extensive rehabilitation in prison. That should bring crown crime down a bit. Handgun laws. Intelligence services. Uh, what else? We've got 19 political capital. Um, uh, state schools, let's share, share, uh, let's, no, let's keep that down. I want to get this technology back out of the way, let's go ahead and raise this up by a little bit. Another four billion pounds in science funding. Uh, hello, marriages, yeah. Why ban it? Minor deficit. Oh no. Uh, we're in a minor tax deficit. Well, hello. Increase the sales tax by uh, 8%. That should get us through. Organized crime is down in an end. Alcohol abuse is down in an end. It'll be a backlash. I'm sure that's just ranting. Uh, yep, 24 billion pounds surplus. That's good. Anybody trying to kill me? Nope. Well, I think that's an episode for today. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Uh, I guess I'll see you on the next episode.